Yo, it's Scott Manley here, and if you've watched many of my videos, you will know that I really like to build really tiny rockets and take them a really long way. And sometimes this involves mashing together technologies which normally wouldn't work. For example, we have this um, tiny little rocket which uses a turbojet combined with a set of sepatrons for the last minute boost once we get into the upper atmosphere. And then finally, when those expire, we drop everything and we are on this tiny rocket which can get us into space and into orbit. And then the plan is, of course, that I have enough fuel to uh, head off some, for some distant body and hopefully come back. And so, yep, yeah, here's an example where I'm heading out to Minmus and uh, we need 900 and something meters per second from low carbon orbit. And... Sure enough, I get into orbit, and uh, as I start my landing, I uh, unfortunately realize I've come up short in terms of fuel. Now, normally uh, this would be um, the start of a rescue mission, but thanks to Vanguard Technologies, I have a new solution. So yes, here's the brave Kerbinaut getting outside, and you see this on the side, we have the Vanguard parachute box. So this pilot with his EVA suit is now able to acquire a parachute, which will uh, help him landing. Unfortunately, it won't help him landing here, he'll have to do that entirely under EVA, because it is, um, but that's okay, because it's Minmus and the gravity is really small. In fact, since 0.17 was released, they actually reduced the mass of Minmus, so uh, it takes even less um, fuel to land on it. Oh, also today, yeah, 0.171 was officially released, so there's it's mostly bug fixes, but uh, you should definitely get it. It's now being served off the, the Amazon storage cluster, so you should have a lot easier time getting it. Main bug fixes are things like being able to actually land on Gilly over most of the surface, which I know a lot of people were asking how the hell I managed it. Well, um, now everyone will be able to manage. But yep, here we are, coming down onto the surface of Minmus with a bit of a bump. Nothing that a Kerbal can't handle in the line of duty, but as he's rolling to the start, um, other big news in the Kerbal world today was that uh, the, the devs had a big live stream and they talked about the new and future awesomeness, which will be in Kerbal 0.18. Uh, they have officially confirmed that docking will happen. They have now an amazing uh, navigation interface, which they're showing off based on maneuver nodes. Uh, that looks pretty darn beautiful, doesn't it? I think he's standing on the south pole of Minmus right now. Yep, there's a, we're just getting some orientation here so that we're going to fly back. So we've used a little bit of fuel up, but it turns out that uh, Minmus has relatively low mass, and because it's orbiting Kerbin at a relatively low velocity, not only does he have enough fuel to get into space and escape Minmus, he should have enough fuel to reduce his orbital velocity relative to Kerbin to zero. And that's what he's going to do as soon as he figures out the difference between the walk and the fly button. 77% um, fuel, so we dropped uh, 25%. Um, Obviously, we needed to do that because our spacecraft did not have enough fuel and we were left with no option but to grab the last parachute and head for the surface. We could have stayed in orbit and just gone home, but since he's out this way, it would be a shame if he didn't actually set foot on this planet, uh, this moon, sorry, for those uh, people that are sticklers for that kind of thing. So, uh, yeah, let's see if we can see where the planet is. Let's just keep going. Um, other things they mentioned was that uh, Moho is being turned into a more regular um, planet. So everyone that wants to try the hardcore version of landing on Mount Goatsey should try sooner rather than later because it will not be in the next version. The map is completely changed. There is no longer the overheating. There's another new moon being added around the planet Jewel, which uh, looks really jaggy and the joke that it might be called um, pollen because it looks like a pollen grain and there's an asteroid a small tiny body that exists in the the space between duna and uh, jewel so that will be probably the hardest target to get to because of the absolutely minuscule sphere of influence but i am up for it 
I will probably make it the first place I try to go to just when uh, when it appears, just because uh, I like to make things hard for myself. So, yeah, you notice I'm heading backwards along the orbit. We're just going to basically put ourselves onto a deorbit trajectory, just standard way before. Before normally, well. Normally, without this uh, parachute mod, this is a very silly thing to do because once you come down towards the planet, there's no way to stop you and you basically end up hitting carbon at, at some ridiculous speed and most likely dying. Although apparently there is a chance of uh, um, transforming into godhood or achieving apotheosis. Uh, that may be fixed in future versions. So I wouldn't rely on being transformed into a god as a way of returning. Parachutes are probably a way safer idea. Um, so yeah, just plenty of fuel. We're just going to bring our periaps down so we skim through the atmosphere. With um, astronauts, you really do want to skim the atmosphere. You do not want to be coming straight down because they seem to have a much lower air resistance than other bits and pieces of rockets, such as, you know, engines and fuel tanks. For some reason, these guys are like bullets that fly through the atmosphere faster than anything else. Hmm, let's enjoy the scenery a little more. Um, somebody needs to work on the HDR, because you shouldn't be able to see any stars when you're looking at the sun like that. But it's kind of nice. Enjoying the view up here as the sun flies serenely past. Well, it's technically staying where it is. What's happening is the camera is naturally moving because we are so close to the polar regions. So what else um, was talked about for point one eight? We had um, we had maneuver nodes. We had oh yeah, they have a new bunch of uh, payload fairing or, or fairings to cover rocket motors and make them, you know pretty between the stages. There's a whole revamp of the parts and module system that will make deriving behaviors a whole lot easier for modders. Most people won't care about that. Ultimately, they will just get the mods and the mods will be more awesome. The, the modders will be able to get more awesome for less code writing, which is a good thing. So yeah, let's uh, finally depart the body and head homewards. I'm sure you've all seen this before. It's just a bit of time acceleration. And so here we are coming down, skimming the atmosphere backwards. Um, no re-entry heat at this time. Still not, no mention of that in 0.18. So this will be a safe maneuver from this point of, or for, well, for the foreseeable future. Assuming you have the parachute. So the way the parachute works is once you get down to a suitable altitude, you can right-click on the pilot and it'll bring up a menu dialog and you'll be able to deploy the parachute. Once it's deployed, he falls very, very slowly. This thing will fully deploy in its current version, which is it's pretty new, but it, it'll fully deploy and reduce your speed to like six meters per second at uh, practically any altitude above, you know, they'll, they'll do to like 20,000, 20,000 meters. Um, which takes a really long time to fall down once you deploy it at that altitude. So I'm just going to wait until I get really, really, really low before deploying it. We're going to do like a hardcore, you know, halo jump. Literally the highest altitude and lowest opening possible in the Kerbin system. There you go. Well, that's not bad. So a successful mission, well, a successful bailout of a failed mission, but the pilot survived and no doubt collected all sorts of fascinating information in his uh, day-long trek back from Minmus in his spacesuit. Uh, as I said, uh, well, I've said before, he probably needs to go to the bathroom because, you know, these spacesuits aren't really designed for that thing. And touchdown. So yeah, you know, these these parachutes, you get it from the from the Vanguard Technologies people. It needs the electrical energy plug-in, which has a whole lot of other cool stuff. Uh, and it will work on other planets. So uh, you can go to, you can use it on any planet with an atmosphere. And um, let me see, I did test it on, on Dune and it works, or Duna, and it works reliably. So yeah, you can land there if you like. Not much point because you would just be stranding yourself. Similarly, you can land yourself on Eve. Um, you can see that this thing falls faster than a rocket without the the parachute. 
And yeah, you know, you can also try and get formation flights going on. After you've jumped out, you can still use the RCS to control it. So if you're fast with your fingers, you can switch between the turbines and, you know, get their parachutes out in quick succession before they move two and a half kilometers from each other and then uh, after that you would use the rcs to adjust them and get them information it's terribly tedious but hey it looks good anyway i'm scott manley i've been playing with vanguard technologies parachutes jump safe <laughs>